in Mozambique, we have four partners. You have ECPAF that is focusing on health facility. You have PATA that links health facility and community activities. You have NUETI that is specialized in community engagement activities. And you have UNICEF that does national advocacy. Putting all those partners together, it's producing a very positive results. que é uma oportunidade para trocarmos experiências, portanto, entre diferentes países. Estamos a implementar o mesmo projeto, sim, mas em contextos diferentes e as experiências de um país podem, portanto, ser adequadas para, para um outro país e, dessa forma, conseguirmos ter melhores resultados. This gave us an opportunity to come together as the implementing partners, the people on the ground who are doing the work. That learning for me is very important. When we had individual programs, we often didn't know the gaps and we often didn't have that whole convergence that's very critical. This project has strengthened the relationship between the health facility and the community. Services have been more person-centered, but also it has improved their families. Caregivers who are in the village savings and loan schemes are able to get some financial skills or some money, and so they're able to improve the nutrition of their household and be able to keep their children in school. We know what the service barriers are, we know what the service enablers are. So for us to be able to tell that story to other countries who are still as affected by HIV, it's just about tweaking for different contexts. So we can take this to scale to different countries. We've got the tools. So that's what I would like to see us thinking about in the next three years. Continue what we're doing now, but thinking about how are we taking that um, those learnings further afield. My hopes for the, the virtual partnership for it to continue you know, it was initially a three-year program. I hope that it will be extended so that we can get to the last child to have it, a response. We're hoping that the funding will increase and we're hoping that we can have it world free of HIV children. I hope that there's a recognition that HIV is a chronic disease and that it's no longer a death sentence, that there is hope. The more that we engage adolescents and youth in understanding and taking ownership of their own health sets them up for success in the future. No children should be left behind. Children matter. Every kid matter. An AIDS-free generation is possible. We sure can achieve an AIDS-free generation. All we need is to purpose, to focus, and go where it matters. Yeah.